Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you four different ways to create a work order. The work order screen is a central window for managing all production functions. Apart from this, however, there are more possibilities to create work orders than BEAS. In this short video, I'm going to show you these four different ways to do so. First, you can create work orders manually in the work orders window. From a customer order, which is an order related method, or a customer order with calculation, similarly an order related method, and also from material resource planning, which is a storage related method. Let's see how you can create a work order in the main work orders administration window. Select Add in the right click menu, and the new work order window pops up. In this screen, you can perform all settings for the master data link documents, and customize various settings ranging from automatic scheduling, consideration in APS, blocking, and many more. In the Positions tab, you can add your assemblies in the opening position editing window called New Work Order Position for Order. This editing screen gives you similar possibilities for master data setting, along with the quantity to produce, the selection of item versions and configurations, the setting of start end and delivery dates, and many more. In the Bill of Materials tab, you can manage all the materials necessary for your assembly. The Routing tab serves to manage all the operations necessary to produce your assembly, and the Calculation tab contains all the parameters to perform costs and valuation related settings. When you add the work order, it is displayed in the logical structure you have created in the editing screens. Work order header, assemblies, and the link materials and operations. You can also create order-related work orders from a sales order in SAP. Add the sales order and once it is saved, you can select Work Order New from the right-click menu over any line in the document. The work order is created and if you right-click the line again, you can see the link to the editing window of this newly created work order with its document number indicated. If you select it, the system opens the structure and if you double-click the header, it will already display the information related to the customer, the delivery date, the type and other details coming from the sales order. And in the structure you can see the link to the original sales order document which means that this production will be automatically reserved for this customer order. Similarly, you can also use the Sales Order to Production Order function. In the Order Related tab, you can see all sales orders that need work orders to be created to produce the items of the sales orders. Select one, add the necessary quantity and press the Individual Orders button to create a new work order. If you go to the Work Orders Administration window now, you can see this newly created one in the list. You can also create a work order from a customer order with calculation. In the SAP Sales Order, click on Align and select Calculation New. The system opens the BEAS pre-calculation window. The window that pops up contains all the information related to the sales order that it was called from. Just click Update and the calculation is ready for use. Let's say for this item you need double quantity, which can be changed directly here. You can also change the resource to a different one. Having made all changes, click Update. The program calculates the price, and in the sales order you can already see that this calculation has been linked in the relevant calculation field. After updating the calculation, you can go back to the actual line of the sales order and from the right-click menu you can edit the calculation again or create a new work order as in the previous example. In this case, BEAS does not use the master data of this item for the work order creation, but this pre-calculation. In the newly created work order you can see all the changes made in the pre-calculation for the production of this item. The double quantity, different resource. In the Link tab of the Work Order Position Editing window, you can see the number of the pre-calculation that was used as the base document for its creation. 
In the fourth method, we're going to choose a storage related item, which is indicated in the blank folder icon. The one with an S in the middle stands for order related items. The item structure shows the necessary bill of materials and routing positions. We create a sales order for 100 pieces of this item. In MRP, we carry out the calculation of our scenario relevant for this item, and after the calculation, we check the order recommendation, which shows the updated requirements to fulfill this sales order. If we click on the item, we can see all requests in flows for this item, as it is storage related. In this tab, we can see our sales order for the 100 pieces. We now can move to the Make tab and create a work order to fulfill the requirements by providing the quantity and clicking on the Create Work Order button. It is also possible to go to Item Level by clicking on the button Mode, select the item, double click the total quantity, and BEAS inserts it directly. Then, by clicking Create Request, BEAS creates a production request for this item, which you can process to be individual work order that is storage related, or process it with other production requests as a collective work order. This will also appear in the Sales Order to Production Order screen under the Storage Related tab, where I can insert the quantity that I want for this sales order, then click the Individual Orders button. Thank you for watching this video on the four different ways that you can create a work order in BEAS. Please stay tuned for our upcoming content.